Hello everyone, it is Friday, December 1st, 2023. We are here at Disney Springs. We're gonna check on the status of Eat by Minit Chohan. Maybe check out Gideon's and Salt and Straw. It's 11 o'clock. It's, it's almost 80 degrees. It's like 77 degrees. It's gonna be, it's finally gonna be nice today. Join us. We'll start over towards Gideon's just in case we have to get in a virtual queue. I have a feeling we won't, but you never know. Then we'll uh, find eat. I just checked the app and it says that it's coming soon. I thought it was coming in November. Um, maybe they can. Maybe they're doing a soft opening. I, I, it just—it's good to check. You never know. Menu for Jennings. It's it's Krampus and um, Krampus and um, Chris Pringle. There's no virtual queue. It's still on standby. We've been in line for an hour, but we're next. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. These are the two holiday cookies. Look at this rainbow. Oh, the carrot cake's got walnut walnuts. It's like um, a layer of cake, a layer of candied walnuts, and a layer of butter buttercream frosting, cream cheese buttercream frosting. Dilemma rainbow cake, cake or carrot cake. I don't even know what this one is. Carrot cake does look amazing. First time I've ever strayed away from the peanut butter cold brew, but I, because it's the holidays, I went with the uh, the Krampus Nitro cold brew. It's like a peppermint mocha. I, I'm pretty stoked. Can't really pick up a shirt. Let's look at the back. The back is awesome. Oh, we also picked up uh, a rainbow slice cake. I got. We couldn't help ourselves. That just is. I can't wait to just. That will I just enjoy it. looking at it. Never mind eating it. it no, we'll, we'll open it at home. All right, we're gonna go try to find eat. By me, eat Shohan. The Krampus Night Pro Cold Brew is really, really good. It tastes like an now, Andy's mint. Now I'm getting it's, it's delicious. We, we are gonna stop at Salt and Straw just to look at the flavors. I, whether we get any ice cream or not, I doubt it. I'm gonna be honest with you. We found some little Debbie Christmas snack flavors at Walmart, and I, I had to buy one of each. And we tried the Christmas tree chocolate one, and it was pretty good. So we get this ice cream. I don't know if I want to add to it. Then they just had to buy one, get one free Hagen Dazs sale at Publix. So we got plenty of ice cream. I don't know if I'm gonna do salt and straw, but I, I still want to head over there anyways and see what they got going on. We just missed Minnie because we waited in line at Gideon's for an hour, but that, that's okay. I just talked to um, Savannah up front, who is from Boston, and she gave me the scoop that um, they should be opening up officially on Monday, provided it goes to Disney Springs. Whether Minnie Chan will be here or not remains to be seen, but uh, we're going to try to get here on Monday. Uh, let's take a quick stop in the world of Disney. Check out this Star Wars spirit jersey. It is so cool. Leia and R2D2. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. That is awesome. I like how he projects it. In a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago. That's really cool too. Look at the, you have the waffle. Old school Star Wars. Can I see heavy cold here? It is. Um, $70, not bad. It's pretty heavy. Something you wouldn't wear down right, here. Right, right. You wouldn't, well, maybe it is a hoodie, a sweatshirt. It is, it's a spirit jersey. That's nice. I like that too. It's very, very nice dark purple color. Very nice. Lounge flies. This is very big, yes. 
Oh, but it's fleece. Oh my goodness, it's such a soft fleece. Oh, but it's so soft. This is the front. Hundred dollars. That's a really nice one. It's a three X. It's a two XL die. Seventy-five dollars. Oh, it's got a embroidered on the back, Walt Disney World. I thought it was just this in the front, but I still like it. A couple of pockets, the zip is up. The zipper has a cover, so it's the wind doesn't get through. That's that's a plus. That is an amazing winter coat. Uh, obviously, it's faux leather. Yeah, faux leather, it's $90. It's nice. Castle on one sleeve. Got the Disney emblem here. The pull for the tie. Hood. $80. But it's got many. And it weighs. It's so nice. What a warm jacket. The thing is, it's a snap, so it's not, it's a button-down. Like a, a button-down denim jacket. Very, very nice weight, very nice, feels nice and soft. Yeah. $35, yeah. $34.99. Nice uh, uh, insulated shirt, $60. Reminds me of the Walt's Holiday Vault, Holiday Lodge shirt. It's been a week since we've had weather like this. Uh, it, it's really, really nice. It feels like we're in Florida again. Yay. I'm going to head over to Salt and Straw now and check and see what they get for flavors over there before we blast out. Still up in the air. I, I, I would like to do SeaWorld tonight. But as long as you do it either tonight or tomorrow, I, I, I want to go meet those Rudolph characters and see what's going on over there for Christmas. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Almond griddle with salted ganache, toasted white chocolate and peppermint almond, gingerbread cookie dough, Duantes caramana spiked eggnog chocolate chocolate cookie dough. Why does the eggnog one sound good? Like I said, it's I've got alcohol. The tequila. You gotta like tequila because you're gonna have cherry, you're gonna taste it. Down, down. Summer house is on It looks nice. I know I, I'm a little bummed out about uh, salt and straw. I've invested in three pints of Little Debbie ice creams, uh, but I can't justify. May come back on Monday. I, I'm really. I don't know, that eggnog one sounds really good. I mean, it's ice cream, right? It's not going to go bad. It's, I'll get to it. All right. We're leaving. I just said all right again. We're leaving Disney Springs. Um, a couple errands to do. Then we're going to figure out where we're going. I think it's going to be SeaWorld. We'll see. We'll see in a little bit. All right, the unveiling of the rainbow crunch cake. I, I mean, it looks cool right even through the paper. The buttercream is getting soft. But there it is. Oh my god. It almost looks like a toy. Oh wow. I'm gonna cover it, put it back in the fridge. Cover and it, let we'll it have get some later. Solid. It's six o'clock, it's 78 degrees. We're at SeaWorld. We're gonna check out some of the Christmas uh, celebrations going on here. Join us inside. We are in, it's wonderful here. There's the SeaWorld Christmas tree. I'm going to start with the Sesame Street Christmas Parade. That's the only thing that it's only once. It's at 6.15 tonight. So we're going to head over there and try to catch that. It's really festive in here. It's nice. I like it. Really nice job, SeaWorld. It really looks cool in here. Everywhere, and a thing 
was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. I think we're gonna go jump in line for Old Wondrous Night. It starts in about a half an hour.
died like this over 2,000 years ago that a very special child was born. But there's more to the story than anyone really knows. Oh yes, it's the greatest story ever told. And tonight, we'll hear it from those who were there. Are you crazy? I'm it's supposed crazy. to be a star on top. You don't sit up there and talk about something. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you? I'm a new arrival. Wow, nice tree. You like it? Yeah. Wait a minute. You saw angels appear in the sky? Sure. There was one right above us. Hold on. You mean you were there? Not there, kid. Here. This is where it happened. It happened in this barn? Sure. Right over there. Wow, I can't believe that the child was born in this manger. Yep, and if it wasn't for me, it never would have happened. Is that it's because of me, the donkey, that the child was born in this manger. There were two people traveling on the road to Bethlehem that night. broke down and they were stuck in the middle of nowhere. Things couldn't have been worse. The sun had gone down and it was starting to get cold. Mary was about to have a baby. Joseph was worried the child wouldn't survive the cold night air. But I thought, hey, look on the bright side. At least it isn't snowing. The only thing that could save them now was a miracle. But where does one find a miracle on a deserted country road to Bethlehem? <laughs> yeah, baby! That's when I came to the rescue. The donkey gave him a lift and a gift. He lent a helping hand to people in need. And it's that spirit of giving that is at the heart of our Christmas story. And it starts softly, quietly. that night and I was looking for something to build it with when something shiny caught my eye. Excuse me. Oh, hello! Reservations? Vacation club? No, but we'd like a place to stay for the night. Sorry, we're all booked. Is there another inn nearby? Well, there's the Best Middle Eastern and the Holy Day Inn, but they're full up tonight. Where are we going to stay? Hmm, the attic's full of boxes. Mm -hmm. No, wait a minute. We have a barn out back. You're welcome to sleep there. At least you'll be out of the snow. Well, have a little faith. All right. Good! Follow me! And don't worry, we'll leave the light on for you. Uh, away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. So you see, if it wasn't for me, Mary and Joseph would have never made it into the barn, and the child wouldn't have been born in that manger. Wow, that's amazing! Imagine a donkey and a dove trying to take credit for the birth of the child. Everyone knows 
It was the sheep who was responsible. Oh, well, you listen up to me, you old well, fellow. You... But I'm the reason that child was born inside that manger. You are? Absolutely. You see, it was freezing when Mary and Joseph arrived. There wasn't even a small fire to keep them warm. What child is this? Now there's nothing easy about having a baby in a pond. And that night, the wind was howling. The air was bitterly cold. But Joseph tried to help. Here, put this around you. It's too cold. This blanket won't keep the baby warm enough. The child will be here soon, Joseph. What are we going to do? You heard the innkeeper. There's nowhere else for us to go. But we can't possibly stay here. Had they gone back out into the snow, they would have surely perished. That's when I, the sheep, came over and saved Mary and the baby. Oh, this wool, it's so soft and warm. Oh, when to Bethlehem they came and knew not where to stay, they felt the warmth and kindness of sheep that feed on hay. So, you want to know who to thank for it happening here? That's right! Me! Think about that next time you're ordering lamb chops. Uh -oh. I am you can be quiet, and, I and you can be quiet. None of you did anything by yourselves. You all three helped, and that is why you all three are important. Hey, he's right. We shouldn't be taking credit like this. In case you didn't notice, there were others there that night who also welcomed the child. That's right. Everyone was here except for me. I sure wish I could have seen it. It's not so hard to see it if you open your heart. Because every time you help someone in need, or have faith in the unexpected, or give comfort to a stranger, you are sharing the spirit of Christmas. And then you'll see it right away. A sight so astonishing, you'll never forget it. Can you do that?
is what we're looking to do next. five minutes or so before the fireworks start. We get a nice little spot here and check them out. Then we're probably gonna have to come back. There's still a bunch of things we haven't done. SeaWorld is cranking it up for Christmas, that's for sure. do it here for us at SeaWorld tonight. We had quite the day. It was really good stopping off at Disney Springs, going to Gideon's, checking out Eat. Um, we'll probably hit that on Monday. Um, then coming over here and doing the few things that we got to do. Uh, the Sesame Street Parade, the Old Wondrous Night, the ballerina and the snow globe and the fireworks. We're going to come back to get a better spot for the fireworks and meet some of the characters. And there are some other shows here that we haven't gotten to do so we may come back here tomorrow during the day we may want to try to hit universal tomorrow for a manheim steamroller but anyways great night thank you for joining us we will see you tomorrow and remember make every day an adventure <laughs>